You know, this place has been here for 14 years and um, it's really created the community space, the community nucleus that South Central really um, lacks, that it doesn't have. You've got a, a, a violence-free zone where kids can run around freely and enjoy a natural experience right in the heart of uh, the most polluted part of uh, Los Angeles. I'm teaching my kids how to eat vegetables and, and around here it's hard to find um, healthy food. I'm growing my own food. You know, I have more than two, three months. I only eat vegetables, green vegetables. I know eat meat now. Yeah. This is this is what's important. Being able to grow from seeds that are not genetically engineered, that are not genetically modified. The link between people working the land and taking care of the earth is the reason that I'm here. It's that connection that is found. Um, I believe humankind needs to be in sacred relationship with the land. I believe in the indigenous way of honoring the earth and um, speaking to her as a mother and saying thank you. I've met all kinds of people and some of the best people I've ever met in my life I've met here, you know, and I really see a social movement, you know, growing from this. Uh, when you look at all the crisis that is besetting our world, global warming, the struggle for small farmers to survive around the world, you will therefore come to the conclusion that what is happening on the South Central Farm Front is one of the major civil and human rights struggles of our time. Well, I'm a defender and a protector of the people and the children's future in the now as well. When this stuff with the farm started happening, especially the encampment, I said, I'm all in. And we're out here today to um, basically make a difference on the planet. Protector of the mother, for sure. Uh, protector of the people, always. Just spending my time here. You know, giving all, all my heart to them. And for me, it's been connecting back to my own roots and connecting to my community. I came to realize that for me, what I want is to be in service to a world that works for all. And, that I, and what I mean by that is not just all people, but a world that works for all, that we're not separate from this earth, we're not separate from each other, we're not separate from the animals, we're not separate from the plants, from the air, from the water, from anything. All the people, the different race, enjoy it for one idea. It seemed to be the kind of a community that we, we keep hoping will occur in Los Angeles. What, what the farmers seem to have accomplished, it seemed to us, was, uh, what, was the American dream. So this could be a model. We need more South Central farms throughout the world and throughout Los Angeles. We can't let this farm be destroyed. This is an example of what we should be duplicating, not eradicating. They're pushing us out, but we're not going to go away. Honor to be arrested for for people who are just trying to continue on being who they are with their basic human needs, trying to practice their culture. Every tree that they, they knocked over, we're going to plant two more. And you know, we could always replant. We could always even make it even more beautiful than it was before. We have to start right here, right now, today, this moment in time, with the South Central Farm. South Central Farm, it's far. South Central Farm, it's far. Everybody help us out now. Everybody help us out now.
So if you care about this and you care about the environment, this is an example of environmentalism at its best, community at its best. To all of the people who thought they were going to break our spirits, you haven't gotten there and you will never get there. We are still a strong community, a strong family, and we're fighting together until victory is proclaimed. We will continue to fight, we will continue to struggle for open green spaces in our community. We will continue to uh, push the policy of urban agriculture, of, of having easy access to organic, healthy food in, the, in our impoverished communities.